So uh, we are moving away from digital solutions and um, as we will get an opportunity to listen to uh, experiences from building from start phase to growth phase. And our final guest today is uh, Marcus Holmberg from Pepti Systems. Welcome, Marcus. Thank you very much. It's nice to be here. Um, and uh, I have asked uh, the other guests today, could you first tell us a little bit about uh, yourself and uh, your role at Pepti Systems? Yep. Yeah, well, my, my name is Marcus Holmberg. I work with uh, business development and uh, sales at uh, Pepti Systems. I've been in the startup business a long time. Um, for 10 years, I've been working in startup companies for more than 10 years now. And um, um, yeah, at Pepti Systems, we make uh, instruments. We develop and sell instruments for manufacturing uh, pharmaceuticals, a certain type of pharmaceuticals called oligonucleotides and peptides. And these are used to treat various diseases, uh, such as AIDS, diabetes, cancer, uh, and so on. And um, oligonucleotides are basically small pieces of RNA, DNA, that we can synthesize with our instruments. And peptides are basically small proteins that also then uh, we can synthesize. Yeah, and, and we talked uh, before this uh, event, and I understand that your uh, solutions, they can also support a green transition uh, in uh, uh, the, the process of, uh, in the methods that they use. Yes. Could you tell us a little bit more about, about that? Yes, absolutely. Um, yeah, when you manufacture pharmaceuticals, especially uh, peptides, um, you use uh, certain solvents that are needed. And uh, when you manufacture one batch, um, as much as hundreds of thousands of liters of solvent uh, are required. Uh, and so you use a lot of this. And when you need to take care of this as waste after the synthesis, um, then you need to combust it in a special way. And that emits a lot of carbon dioxide. Uh, and using our technology, we can reduce the solvent consumption by up to 50%. And uh, when you have a lot of these batches that are being produced, um, uh, then you can actually reduce up to 100 tons of carbon dioxide per instrument per year using our uh, system. So that can have a quite a quite a good impact. And it's quite big industry globally. It's a very big industry. The peptide industry is uh, huge, billions and billions every year. Um, that's very interesting to to hear how you can um, I improve uh, not only the the speed and uh, but also the environmental aspects at the same time. Yes, um, there's a lot of advantages with the with the technology in terms of both both speed, in terms of uh, saving costs. Um, and uh, and in terms of making it uh, a more much more greener, more efficient process. And um, development cycles in life science they often take a long time. And uh, could you tell us a little bit about the journey for for Pepti Systems from from the idea to mm -hmm. to where you are today? Yeah, it's certainly been an interesting journey. That's for sure. Um, the company was started in 2014 uh, by a previous uh, G Healthcare employees that. Uh, felt like, okay, we need to start a company around this because there's a need for this on the market. So, um, but the development really didn't begin until 2016. That's when it really took, took hold. And we thought it was going to take maybe three years or something till we had a product ready. It took six or seven. <laughs> <laughs> perseverance. <laughs> so perseverance is key. And you encounter challenges all the time. Um, but uh, if with perseverance, you can, can really overcome them. And um, yeah, it takes longer time than you than you really expected from the beginning for sure and, and time is often uh, time is money <laughs> yeah. how did that uh, affect if you had a plan of three years and then it was six seven years how did you work to finance that we take it one step at a time but you always of course need to have a plan for for uh, for how to finance so in the beginning we tried to um, be as cost effective as possible um, take as little salaries as possible and to try to we invested ourselves actually quite a bit in the beginning um, but that, that also has its limitations <laughs> after a while so we wanted we actually worked a lot with Vinova we worked with the EU for to apply for grants we worked with Almi we received a loan from Almi for our talks partner um, and we were able to use the innovation system, ecosystem, which I think is brilliant. I think there's so many opportunities for small startup companies to actually use the uh, innovation system that's there. And there's a lot of different grants and, and money that's available for startup companies. So that really helped us a lot till we got a functioning a prototype where we could synthesize. We got customer feedback. 
um, and we can show that this, this really works, this has benefit, and then we could get our first investor, um, Almi Invest being, being one of them. And now you're uh, at a situation where um, you your solutions are established and you want to, there's a demand from what I understand, yes. and, and you uh, are gearing up for international growth. Um, could you tell us a little bit more about the plans and ambitions? Yes, um, we're very happy to say that we launched last year. In the beginning of last year, we launched our first instruments. Um, and we've sold over, I think, 14 instruments. And these are not uh, cheap. <laughs> <laughs> They're not off-the-shelf small ones. <laughs> <laughs> no, exactly, exactly. Um, so um, we're very excited that, that sales have really started to take shape. It's always good when you can get your, your first customers as early as possible. But uh, it did take some time for us. But um, now we think we're going to be... Um, in within three years, we hope to have 100 million crowns in, in revenue. And this is quite conservative, considering that some of these instruments can cost between 10 and 20 million crowns each, uh, when the large ones and the smaller ones are less expensive. But um, So the growth plan now is to expand. We wanna, we're now about six people um, working uh, in the company, and we're planning on becoming 20, 25 more people, so about 30 in total in the next couple of years. So we're gearing up and getting investment to scale. Uh, we sell internationally a lot. So we sell to the US, we sold to China, we sold to um, various countries in Europe. Europe is kind of our home market, but the markets internationally are, are quite big. So we're working with distributors there. And, and we, but we need to scale um, and get the product out there because there's a lot of interest for it because there, there's so many benefits um, in the peptide, both in the peptide industry, both on the green side of things to make it a more efficient process, but also in terms of cost savings, in terms of improving the synthesis, um, purity and yield, um, then on the oligonucleotide side as well. There's a lot of benefits. So we're seeing a lot of customers uh, that are anxious to, to start using our products. Although it's, it's not as easy in certain markets where, where you can have um, a little bit more pushback on the peptide side because they've used to doing things for the same way for quite a long time. Um, so we're coming with something a little bit new. So mm -hmm. it has been a little bit uh, of a ramp up, but we're seeing more and more interest. So we're very excited about that. So uh, a bit of change management uh, in the beginning with working with customers to implement new new ways of working. Exactly. And mm -hmm. the, the nice thing about it is that we actually don't have to change their production process. They can use the existing, the same building blocks and the same mm. general way of, of uh, manufacturing, uh, but they use with, with our instrument. And what we've had a good th good thing going because we've also been able to have sell the oligosynthesis instruments. And there the technology is a little bit more proven. Um, so we've been able to gain a lot of credibility by selling these. So it's been easier kind of going into the oligo market because there uh, the product is synthesized with this type of technology since before. So they're more used to it. Um, and we've seen, we've been able to gain customers now on, on both sides. So it's really exciting. Uh, and uh, we talked, uh, I asked the companies here before about product registrations and how that mm -hmm. works because it's different in different areas in of the world and different uh, solutions that you work with. H how is that? Uh, how is that for you? Well, uh, in, we in terms space. of certifications, it depends on the product that we have. The smaller scale ones uh, don't need to be ATEC certified. That's explosion proof and, and so on. So, but the larger ones do need that uh, because they're going to be in that type of environment. Um, we need to have the CE uh, certificate as as these things ha <laughs> need to have, <laughs> of course. Um, but we also need to make our software compliant. Um, so there's, there's certain standards that you have for, for electronic records and, and so on um, that we need to have. And then there's various frameworks that we work with uh, called, for example, GAMP5 uh, that we're operating towards and with. Um, and that's very important because these are pharmaceuticals. They're going to be produced, um, they need to be produced under a GMP. Um, some under non-GMP, that depends on, on what it is. But because um, these products can be used for research as well, for clinical studies and so on. Um, but um, yeah, so it's very important to have a high quality and to follow <laughs> the proper guidelines. So both both for you and to help your customers uh, that are using your products. Exactly. 
Uh, and um, I understand that you're planning to add more equity to support the growth uh, and um, uh, you're, you're uh, yeah, participating in uh, our partner Connect. They have a, a mm -hmm. webinar later today with, yep. with some investors. Um, how much capitals, uh, capital are you looking to uh, take in from new investors? Uh, at the moment we're looking at taking in 20 million in two trenches. Um, Proners. Yes, exactly. <laughs> A bit a little bit of a difference. <laughs> 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 uh, yes, and so we're doing a pitch this afternoon, and going to be in another uh, investor event later on in the beginning of February. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's exciting meeting various investors, and we're we're looking for for um, investor that can really help us both in terms of network, but uh, in terms of just helping us grow at this stage that we're in right now. Because mm. it's one thing to grow the company from you know, nothing to having some revenue, like 10 million crowns in revenue, but then to grow it from 10 million to 100 million, then you need a different structure and you need to be able to scale the company, you need to have sta stable processes uh, in all different areas of the company in order to do that. So it's, uh, it's another journey, you could say. I was just going to ask what type of, of investor yeah. that you're looking <laughs> for. but <laughs> <laughs> I beat you to it. Th thank you for <laughs> making that, that clear. So if, if uh, there are, uh, are investors out there looking and feeling that uh, they fit the bill, yeah. Uh, who do they reach out to? They can reach out to me. And, and your <laughs> details are on the web then? Absolutely. Marcus.holmberg at peptisystems.com. Uh, it's good. a very easy way to reach me. <laughs> very good. So, uh, if a fi final question. You've uh, developed this company uh, working in, in Uppsala, and Uppsala is a big life science market. Uh, what do you think are the key benefits of um, building a company in life science in Uppsala? Uh, well, you have a very nice ecosystem here with many life sciences companies. Um, and uh, uh, we've had the pleasure of, uh, we, we have our office directly across from BioWorks. So mm. if you know them. <laughs> uh, they were here last year. Uh, exactly, exactly. <laughs> so I interviewed Jonathan last year. Yeah. Ah, perfect, perfect. Yeah, I saw that. Um, and so we've been able to just partner, partner with various different people. Uh, there's a whole community. Uh, of investors as well that are you know working within the life science industry here and the whole innovation system. So I, I think it's been uh, it's very beneficial to actually be here um, because of the the focus on on a lot of life science companies. Mm. Thank you very much for uh, joining us and for sharing about Pepti Systems and the exciting times ahead. And uh, I hope you have lots of interest from the investors uh, in th this afternoon and from looking at this as well. Thank you. Um, Thank you very Thank you much. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Now, we have come to the end of the broadcast today, and uh, uh, the week is not over yet. And tomorrow we will talk more about how to retain and attract skilled coworkers. We will get the opportunity to listen to Svante Randlet, uh, who will share insights on how to work in a strategic way to ensure access to necessary staff and competence in international growth. Uh, we've recorded today's webinar and uh, uh, webinars earlier in the week, and those will be available on the event page. Uh, however, Santa's presentation tomorrow will only be available live, so don't miss it. Starts at 2.30. Uh, with that, I would like to thank you all for listening today. Thanks to all our partners, to the speakers, and to the companies that have been here today uh, sharing uh, insights from their journey. And I hope to see you all tomorrow. Thank you.